Welcome to podcast number six of OregonCoastTheater.org, where we sit down for a few minutes and discuss The Sound of Music, a 20th anniversary production of The Last Resort Players, being presented at the Florence Event Center this November. We visited with David Loria and the cast and crew on the night of dress rehearsal. Everyone we spoke to was very warm, generous, and genuine. It was a pleasure to be there. For our 20th anniversary, as we were looking for a show that went back to our roots, uh, which was family-oriented, large cast musicals, you know, a good um, family show. We wanted something that people were familiar with the music, could sing along to if they wanted to, um, and yet something that we could also somehow make fresh. And I think we've, we've worked very hard as uh, the production team to, to do that. When the lights came up on this set and they saw the house, I literally in the house heard gasps. That The actual production work starts months before you ever even cast the show. Uh, you start looking at saying, how can we get this done? What kind of a set is it going to take? Uh, et cetera, et cetera. One interesting thing about this set here is I have two flaps, each of which open out at different times in the show. This one over here opens up and it reveals Maria's bedroom. There's an entire bedroom with a vanity and an alcove in there. This particular flat opens up and it becomes the background for the terrace. It's got ivy and everything up there and behind that tapestry, that tapestry hides a French door. There are a lot of extremely talented people here in town. When we cast this show, wow. I was blessed we had some new people come in who we haven't seen before. Sheena Moore, believe it or not, this is her first stage show. She's sung in public before, obviously with her operatic voice, but this is the first time she's actually performed a role. We have a wonderful venue here in town that has started up in the last few years uh, called Crow, and it's the Children's Repertory of Oregon Workshops. They have been able to give the children a good foundation in theater. They teach them how to sing, basic stage presence, and so forth. So we were lucky to have close to 20, 30 children audition. I've been in love with theater since I was about six years old. I mean, just as far as I was raised on on musical theater. The children are phenomenal, and I am having a blast. <laughs> yeah, they're they're wonderful. My name is Kayla Rose, and I play Gretel on Saturday. I love this play. I love all my lines and I love how my character acts. My name is Jesse Reeves and I play Rolf in The Sound of Music. My name is Lindsay Keppel. I play Liesel. He's a very, he's a wonderful guy. He's a great director. I loved working with him. This was one of my first major plays. I've done some big character parts, but it was wonderful to be able to work with him for this part. And do you sing much in this play? I do. I do, you, do you have any solos? 16 going on 17. That is my big solo. And then I have another one with Maria where we're singing together. Do you get nervous? Before? All the time. <laughs> what do you do to calm down? I just think about something else. Just focus on my song or my lines <laughs> and just pretend nobody's out in the audience. <laughs> this has been the best well-behaved bunch of kids I've worked with. And I worked in children's theater here in Florence before I worked here. 
they're, I'm amazed. They're doing really well. They remember. They're, on, they're well trained, well rehearsed. They're great kids. Um, I've worked with David on a few shows, actually, both uh, with him as a director and as a fellow actor, and he's a riot. He is great to work with. He's very good at what he does. He, he has a vision, and uh, he shares that vision in great detail with everybody involved. I think that the most entertaining secret to me is that our star character, she sings the role of Maria, and she, this is the first time on stage, first time acting, and she really does have a beautiful coloratura voice. So uh, there's a lot of agility in the voice, sweet face, she plays well to the audience. Um, she's a joy to have in this cast as our leading character. And I am playing the role of Maria Ryder, later Maria Von Trapp, spoiler alert. And uh, she's great. She's really funny. She's uh, <laughs> kind of footloose and fancy free. And she's also very relatable, which made her, I don't want to say an easy role to play, but in a way it was easy to find ways to relate to what she's going through. And I'm having a fantastic time. And you will too.